laptop and show you the items on Amazon that I ordered. Okay, this item here, the Anchor U-Speed USB 3.0 3.5 inch front panel with two USB 3.0 ports, 20 pin and 2 foot adapter cable. <clears throat> that was um, the item that I got last. It seems to be working well. It plugged right into the Anchor U-Speed PCI Express to USB 3.0 2 port express card with one USB 3.0 20 pin connector and 5 volt 4 pin male power connector which I, uh, I use the one of the uh, 4 pin Molex off my new power supply that I have the LXP, LSP 550 from Ultra uh, we got a good deal on that from Tiger Direct it provided power to this card and then this adapter here had the 20 pin connector that plugged into the 20 pin port on the PCI Express card. So both these items are made by the same manufacturer and they both work well together. There was a software driver, you got a small disk uh, to install the driver for this card and that seems to work. Uh, I didn't really understand what the buttons meant when you opened up that driver. Uh, you really shouldn't have to ever open a driver in my opinion once you've installed the driver. It should just work. But for whatever reason there was a couple of buttons that you could press once you on screen buttons that you could press once you started their driver and I really don't have a clue as to what those buttons do since it wasn't clear, you know, it didn't tell you clearly what's being done. And I, I, I made the complaint to Anchor that, you know, that's very weird, but whatever. The card seems to work uh, as it should. And this item here, the Rosewheel RDCR110073 74M1 USB 3.0 3.5 inch internal card reader with USB port, that did not work. I installed this item first, the PCI Express card, installed the driver, and then I plugged this device into that card into the 20 pin connection this device came with the same type connector this one has a 20 pin connector and none of the card reader slots would work and in addition to the card reader not working uh, it made my CD player stop working as long as this device was installed in the system my CD player would not open and close at all once this device was removed from the system my CD player started working again so not only did it not work, it caused problems in my system. It was also very hard to change the front faceplate. I had to take the top cover off. When I called Rosewheel to ask them what was wrong with their device, they told me to take their device apart and wiggle wires around. Can you believe that? That was their idea of getting their product to work, is to take it apart and wiggle the wires around. So I actually followed their directions. I, and When you open up this case on the Rosewheel, the, there's like an additional USB 3.0 cable that plugs into the card, the circuit card inside the case, and it was actually potted together with some sort of a seal, like some sort of a wax wax seal or some sort of an adhesive potting. I wiggled that, you know, loosened, I loosened up that potting and, and disconnected the, the cable and plugged it back in to the card that's inside the case and put everything back together and this was per I did exactly what the Rosewheel tech rep told me to do and that didn't help anything so I ended up packaging the product back up and filing a return refund request with Amazon which they were very prompt to take it back and get our uh, refund credited back to the credit card so I had no complaints with Amazon's behavior and I've, I've had good results with Amazon over and over and over again throughout the years with various issues. I have left feedback on Amazon about all these products. The Anchor products seem to be really good uh, and, and in terms of the way they're made, they're made really well. Uh, and then the Kingston, it was flawless. Uh, so far I have absolutely no complaints with the Kingston USB 3.0 card reader. So basically these two items here are doing what this one item the Rosewell item was supposed to do and I actually like uh, I actually like the fact that I have two separate items uh, doing 
taking care of these technical functionality because if one of these items happens to go bad I haven't lost all of it whereas if this one thing has a problem then I have lost USB 3 connectivity on the front of the machine entirely whereas here the card reader could go bad and I still have two USB 3.0 ports that I can plug jump drives into or vice versa. If I lose the USB 3.0 hub then I still have a card reader as long as the PCI Express card doesn't go out. So anyway, inside the case, this is where the USB 3 hub plugs in. This is the USB uh, PCI Express 3.0 card. And then here's the Kingston uh, card reader. And you can see it comes with USB 3 cable, which simply plugs into the PCI Express card in the back. Real simple. That's all that's required for installation. Just mount this either on your desktop, you can leave it on the desktop or put it on top of your case. Maybe a little piece of Velcro on the bottom. That's incredibly simple and it worked. And then there was one screw required to secure the, the USB 3.0 hub. This thing right in is really simple. Slid in, put one screw in. Put in a couple of zip ties here to hold the cables together and plugged it in. There was no software driver required for the front hub. The only driver required, like I said, was for the PCI Express card, which seems to work, but uh, don't expect me to explain to you how, what the buttons mean. There we go. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps you. Uh, this took me about two weeks to figure all this out, so hopefully you will not order stuff that doesn't work you'll actually order something that does work and you'll get on with your life